Um, you know, we think about uh, don't try, train. And you guys have mentioned a few different trainings that you would suggest. But what are the ones, could you just review a few of them that you maybe mentioned that you would say, these are ones that we find help most of us, uh, maybe some prominent trainings that you feel are really key. Yeah, we, we have a, um, we call it a, a VIM plan on our website. It's a, a, and it's a template that you can fill out to help you construct a, a rhythm of life to grow uh, to be more like Jesus by God's grace in a particular area. And in that template, we, we start with scripture. So let, let's say you're saying, I wanna learn how to uh, be more trusting of God and more at peace in the stresses and challenges of my life. And uh, the Lord's putting that on your heart. And so if you wanted to now begin to do some training over a period of some days, weeks, and even some months around that to become a more peaceful person, we would say, well, let's start, let's start with God's word. So where is there a passage in the Bible now that, that really, you're really drawn to and speaks to your need? It speaks to the problem that you're having. And so you want to read that, meditate on that, pray that, maybe even memorize it. It'd be really good to get God's word into the structure of your brain and your, your thoughts for memorizing it. And then we'd say, okay, now who is a safe person in your life? Uh, a soul friend, uh, might be a family member, a pastor, a counselor, a small group leader, but who is somebody that you, you feel emotionally safe being honest with? And you don't have to like put on a happy face or be all together. And now sharing with that person your struggles, your temptations, and seeking the empathy and grace of the Lord through that person. That is, is really important. Well, we would say, okay, now what about um, a discipline of self-denial? These are, there's, we have lots of material on disciplines in, in the book and on our website, but basically a whole category of spiritual practices comes down to self-denial. These are things like solitude and silence, fasting, Sabbath, frugality, uh, things where we're not doing something, uh, setting boundaries, having margin in our life, uh, not being hurried. And th the thing about these kinds of disciplines is that they make space in our schedule and in our hearts to connect with God. And when we do something like solitude and silence for uh, maybe 30 minutes, maybe even an hour or two or more, that's a very deep training that makes a big space for you to connect with God, feel his presence, hear his voice, and you can see how your Bible reading, if you do it in front of the television, is not going to be so productive. If you do it in a quiet place, it's going to be a lot more effective for you. And if you now go deep in it and go beyond maybe the typical sort of 15-minute quiet time and say, well, I'm going to actually spend some hours meditating, maybe even memorizing scripture, maybe going on a prayer walk while I'm just, I'm carrying scripture with me on a piece of paper while I'm walking along and I'm, I'm memorizing these words and letting the words lead me now to pray and talk to God about how I feel. And then the other discipline I would add, uh, so we have uh, scripture and we have uh, conversation with a safe person and we have uh, a discipline of abstinence, of self-denial like solitude and silence and I'd say, well, this, this watch and pray discipline that I talk to you, that is really powerful. I use that all the time in my personal life and with people that, that talk with me because it gets us concrete. It gets us accountable. We've got to deal with examples in our life. That's why we had you start this evening with what is something in your life that's stressful or challenging or, or scary for you? There might be six things, but if you'll pick one and identify it, talk to God about it, Picture yourself in that situation and now do some disciplines around getting help from the Lord to change in that area and to become a different kind of person. Just simple things like learning to drive your car more patiently in an unhurried manner, more gracious to the people around you. You see, for some of us, uh, that's a very difficult thing to do and trying harder is not going to enable you to do that but you need to do a whole rhythm of life like I'm talking about. Responding to uh, uh, your, your spouse's criticism without being critical back. You can't just do that by trying hard. I mean, you might be able to occasionally, but not reliably. 
you're going to get frustrated back. How do you become the kind of person who doesn't be a doormat and just like take a beating and go into shame and fear? That wouldn't be good. But how do you not react in anger and criticize back? See, how do you, how do you avoid depression, avoid angry reactions? Well, you need an inner transformation there. You have to learn how to become the kind of person who, by relying on God's grace, would bless the one who has cursed you, even though that person maybe didn't intend to curse you, you see. So you're going to have to do a whole rhythm of life now, like, like what I'm laying out here, to become that kind of person. So. so this is possible. You don't train in all these different areas at one time. You pick one area to train in at a time. So Bill and I will pick one area that God's kind of putting his finger on in our life, inviting us to grow in his likeness in, to train, and we'll work that VIM plan. We'll take some spiritual disciplines. We like to call them training exercises or even experiments. What will God do if I, you know, engage in these disciplines or these experiments? And, you know, I watch and pray. And I, I meditate on the scripture. I memorize the scripture. And I direct my mind to it constantly. And, uh, and we find it changes us. So I did a VIM plan on learning to let go of worry. For a whole year, I worked that VIM plan. I memorized uh, Matthew 6 in the Sermon on the Mount, and I went through it every day, many times a day, where Jesus says, do not worry about your life. Uh, you know, and he talks about looking at the birds, and you're more valuable than the birds, and not worrying about what you wear. You know, for a woman, that's kind of a deal. <laughs> and <laughs> look at Solomon, you know, he, he was dressed... You know, look at the flowers of the field. Even Solomon wasn't dressed as glorious as these. And, you know, the, the lose the field. They don't sow or spin. The birds there, they don't, you know, sow or reap or have storehouses or barns. Yet your Heavenly Father cares for them. And you're so much more powerful, valuable. And, you know, oh, you have little faith. You know, it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and trusting that. And, you know, seeking first the kingdom of God. Oh, the kingdom of God. That's a place where I can live under God. The good king's loving rule for me. It's a place for me to be. It's, it's, I don't have to get all caught up in the worries of this kingdom world, my kingdom, myself on the throne. If I'd, I'd find myself worrying and think, oh, I put myself on the throne. There I am again, trying to run my kingdom or my queendom. That brought anxiety and stress. And I, oh, I can kick myself off the throne, put Jesus back on there. What's oh, so freeing and peace giving to me to realize. I can trust his fatherly care, my good shepherd's care. And just marinating in that scripture over and over again. It talks about not building up treasure, letting go. Don't try to secure myself with wealth or reputation and what people think of me. I can let go of that. Live before an audience of one. You know, just as you train in these things, I would spend part of my training was solitude and silence to, to get away from all the people pleasing and the messages and the pressures of society to earn, to worry about reputation, to status, to achieve, to try to make things happen and get away from all that and just rest in the freedom of my Heavenly Father's delight in me. Those are the kind of examples of a training.